Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Monday, December 22nd, 2008. And today we're reading Exodus chapter 34. And uh, this is really one verse I want to pull out of here and uh, use for today's Lessons for Life. is uh, verse 7 where it says that the Lord uh, forgives the iniquities and the transgressions and the sins, uh, but by no means is that clear the guilty. And I remember when I was younger and I used to go to Sunday school and there was a teacher that was teaching us and he said that um, you know, every night before he went to sleep, he would pray and he would say, you know, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Because just because he didn't know what sins he might have committed or, um, you know, he, was, he might not be aware. So he was just going to cover himself either way by saying, you know, forgive me for my sins. Which I understand the, the, the logic in that, just to, you know, basically play it safe. But uh, this scripture here lets us know that even though the Lord forgives you of your sins, you still have to pay the consequences for even doing that sin or um, violating whatever law it is that you're violating. So it's not by just, you know, forgiving, by being forgiven of your sins, then you just totally wiped uh, free of any kind of um, uh, debt that has to be repaid or any kind of uh, punishment. You can even think about it, you know, as children, even though you may get in trouble for something and you may apologize for doing something, then afterwards you still get punishment. Just because you apologize for it doesn't make everything right. You still have to suffer the consequences of doing what you've done. So this scripture here is what stuck out to me from this chapter here about, you know, the Lord will forgive our uh, transgressions, our sins, our iniquities, but then that doesn't clear us, um, clear the guilty. So you still have to suffer the consequences. So the point really is to uh, not commit the sin or not, or actually to know what you're doing. Like the teacher was saying, you know, he might not know what sin he was committing, so he would just cover himself and say, you know, forgive me for my sins. But... Uh, the point really is to know what you're doing and not to commit sin so you don't have to suffer those consequences and you actually see even in this verse it says that not only uh, you know it'll be visited down to the generation below you and, and below that and it's going to carry on so uh, really in our life we want to just know what we're doing and not commit sin not just looking for um, you know just a, a easy way out by saying, you know, forgive me for my sin, but actually not committing the sin in the first place because you're still going to suffer the consequences just for committing that sin. So, but that, that was today's Lessons for Life. Create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.